I've been searching these woods here. It's a Confederate camp. Lots of huts right in there where the camera's pointed and haven't found anything but shotgun shells and iron straps and these little iron things and finally I got a signal and I guess I'd just soon have one of these as a button. I believe she's an Indian head penny. I'll clean it up when I get home. Hot dogs, I love coins. These cotton picking relics keep getting in my way. So far, I haven't found the big prize I'm looking for. Old GPX, you just can't beat it. I really don't need to be using the GPX here. This ground's pretty good, but uh, it does have a, a real deep factor to it. So I thought I'd hit the hut holes, get down in them and sweep it around the sides and down the bottom and listen for something a little bit deeper than a VLF machine might hear. But so far, no luck with that. But you don't know till you try. Probably 15, 16 years ago, uh, one of the old timey relic hunters was digging in these woods and he didn't know a whole lot about Civil War stuff, so he dug up a Georgia frame buckle and he thought it was, you know, just part of horse tack or something, so he tossed it down in the woods. Now, coming from this guy, it's a true story. So, I've been in here a couple of times looking for it. And what he did was, uh, he was in a hut hole, probably somewhere over in here. And he says he gave it a, a real good toss. And I hope it's not over in there. <laughs> and he tossed it down through here. There's a hut hole right there. I don't think that's the one he was in. So I've been scouring this area and so far I found a Indian head penny. And then I got a nice signal right here and wasn't, wasn't expecting a, what I found. That's not the signal I'm digging, but that's what popped out of the ground. Of course, I popped it when I hit it. But uh, I'll glue it back together and I need to find the other piece if it's there. It doesn't look like it's there. Although there might be another piece there. Anyway, how cool is that? A Confederate clay inkwell. Well, I wonder if the signal's inside of the clay inkwell. Huh. Get out my pin pointer. Nope. Anyway, I got a good signal here, too. I ain't believing this. I, it's, a, it's the first time I've dug a... Oh, that's my digger first time I've dug a nice inkwell so this trip is not a bust I'm gonna call this episode the search for the tossed frame buckle <laughs> I might not find it but I'm sure gonna look hard now because I got my uh, adrenaline going now <laughs> leave it to the GPX to find things like clay inkwells too Now let me dig this signal up and see what it is. Okay, well, I found the signal and it was a little bitty buckyball that looked more modern than Civil War. But So I dug a little buckyball and wound up with a most of a clay inkwell. I rooted around there and probed and couldn't find any more pieces, so I'm gonna let it go at that. Go back up here and look in the hut holes and hunt down in front of them where he might have threw that frame buckle a little while longer. 
until I give out. These old guys got to take a lot of breaks. Let me throw in a digger's tip here. 20 years ago when this camp was being hunted regularly, look at this log. This tree's been down a long time and maybe when they were even hunting so that uh, they couldn't get too close to it. I mean, couldn't get up under it and if it was laying on a button or a bullet, they might not have heard it. So now it's deteriorated. I run my coil all around these old logs like this and sometimes you'll find a bullet or a button under one that just couldn't be uh, picked up by the older machines. And I got a signal right there and wasn't lucky enough for it to be a button or a bullet. Well, it was a bullet. It was a 22 bullet. But uh, that's a good tip to remember if you're hunting an old camp that's been hunted a lot. Look for these deteriorated uh, logs and hunt, hunt up close to them and kick them out of the way even. Here I am sitting in a Confederate hut hole. <clears throat> Still looking for that frame buckle. Oh, a little bit on the background on that too, I forgot to mention. The, a year later, the guy was looking over the shoulder of somebody looking through a buckle book and he flipped to the frame buckle page and he says, oh my gosh, he says, that's what I threw down through the woods. <laughs> so uh, I'm not sure, maybe somebody else has found that thing, but I'm not gonna give up looking for it because I might find something else in the meantime. Well, I got over this hut hole, and I could hear some nails here and nails there, but then there's one signal just really didn't sound like a nail so much as the others. So I started digging this thing out, and uh, sure enough, when's a nail not a nail? <laughs> Maybe when it's a big spike. That's one of them square, square-sided spikes. Pretty cool. Got a funny-looking head on it. That's a, that's a spike. There. That's a nail. So you can see the difference. It just sounded like something a little bigger than a nail, so I went and dug at it. By the way, see these, see how clean that nail looks? Those nails some sound some kind of good on a metal detector for some reason. They must have some, some excellent metal in them. But I used to go over these with the VLF machine and they would sound off just, just like a good bullet or a button or something. You have to dig them, but... Well, got a spike, some nails. Most of a clay inkwell. And I got an Indian head penny in my storage container so far I haven't had a bad day now all I gotta do is find a bullet to round it out I'm gonna come back with a big shovel and and dig this hut out another day I just brought my hoe today and it's not the right tool to be excavating too much I did see a couple little pieces of glass. By the way, <clears throat> you see this red looking stuff and, and charcoal mixed in and it turns that ashy gray look. That's the fire pit of, of the hut. And uh, another little digger's tip. If you're running a VLF machine over an ash pit, there could be a buckle underneath of it and you'll never hear it. The ash uh, it acts like highly, highly mineralized soil and you can't hear anything uh, positive in, in the ash. But with the, v, with the uh, pulse machine, it pays no mind to that ash and it'll, uh, it'll hear stuff right down through it. So every machine has an advantage and a disadvantage and one of the advantages of a pulse machine is 
it ignores mineralization and stuff like ash and it'll hear stuff in the bottom of a hut right through that ash well I gotta fill this hole back in be easier to dig next time won't it